What are the priority issues for improving Australia's health? There are three main issues to cover. One, a growing and ageing population. These include people over the age of 65 and over, and there are two contributing factors as to why this is increasing. One, Australian families are, on average, having fewer children, and two, we are living longer. Two, high levels of preventative chronic disease, injury and mental health problems, and three, group experiencing health inequalities. A growing and aging population. Healthy aging. Healthy aging is concerned with the quality of life, independence and lengthening of the years of healthy years. Number, not just the years of life enjoyed by an individual. Two, increased population living with chronic disease and disabilities. Chronic non-communicable diseases account for approximately 80% of the total burden of disease in Australia. Three, a demand for health services and workforce shortages. The demand for health care increases with age and medical workforce and is derived from the num for the demand for health care. Those in the ages of 55 years and greater are the heaviest consumers of medical services. Availability of carers and volunteers. Australia's workforce consists of not only paid workers but also carers and volunteers who are ageing with the rest of the population. High levels of preventative chronic disease, injury and mental health problems. The six areas covers include cardiovascular disease, cancer, injury, mental health problems and illnesses, diabetes and respiratory disease. Cardiovascular disease. It is one of the leading causes of sickness and death in Australia. It accounts for 36% of all deaths in 2004 and males are more likely to die from this disease than females. There are three major forms of cardiovascular disease. Coronary heart disease, the poor supply of blood to the muscular walls of the heart by its own blood supply vessels and the coronary arteries. Stroke, the interruption of blood supply to the brain and peripheral vascular disease, disease of the arteries, arteroles and capillaries. Cancer. Cancer refers to a diverse group of disease with a common feature, the uncontrolled growth of spread and of abnormal body cells. There are three major types of cancer that can occur, skin cancer, lung cancer and breast cancer. Injury. Injury is one of the leading causes of death in Australia, accounting for 6% of all deaths in Australia. This number is also growing due to the ageing population. 4. Mental health problems and illnesses. There are barriers for effective treatment. This is because there is a bad stigma on mental health. Mental health illnesses include depression, personality disorders and post-traumatic stress disorders. Diabetes. Diabetes mellitus is a hereditary or developmental disease caused by improper function of the pancreas. There is type 1 diabetes, which is a genetic, uh, genetic disorder and cannot be prevented, and type 2 results from a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Although there is a strong genetic predisposition, the risk is greatly incre increased with associated lifestyle factors such as high blood pressure, overweight or obesity, insufficient physical activity and poor diet, and respiratory disease. Affects the respiratory system. This includes asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Three, groups with health inequalities. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. This is where inequalities exist between these and non-Aboriginal population. There is a poor level of health and reduced quality of life. Social economically disadvantaged people experience significant financial limitations due to lack of access to education and reduced opportunities. Three, people in rural and remote areas. Approximately 34% of Australian people live in rural and remote areas. Though this is not contributing 
to the fact that rural areas does not mean you will have lower health. Overseas born people. Australia is extremely multicultural and in 2006 approximately 25 Australians were born overseas. 60% of these were born in non-English speaking countries. As previously mentioned, Australia has an ageing population with over 13% of the population over the age of 65 years old and people with disabilities. These include of the physical nature such as arthritis and musculoskeletal disorders. So let's summarise shall we? There are three main issues to cover. A growing and ageing population, there is high levels of preventable chronic disease, injury and mental health and there are groups experiencing health inequalities. Now that you've listened to this screencast, you can now move on to the Google Docs. Please complete this before attending class.